Good morning, everyone. Today, I, I would like to teach you the new um, unit, which is unit four. The title is Holiday or Vacation. These are the contents of um, unit four. Um, we have learning objective, reading and listening, vocabulary, um, grammar, culture and mind, writing, and uh, at the end of this lesson, um, you're gonna do a short quiz which is called Check Your Progress. Um, the quiz code were um, Unit 3 and 4. Let's look at the um, learning objective. Um, we have three main learning objective in this lesson. Um, we have two grammar points. The first one grammar um, question text and the second one um, present perfect simple with just already and yet and we also learn uh, some words that is uh, used in Britain and some words that is used in uh, North America uh, but this, the words mean the same but it's just spoken in uh, different country yeah okay so this is the first section reading and listening um, the first exercise of um, reading and listening here um, how much a just let look at exercise a how much do you know about North America so I have the quiz for you um, for each question so call the correct answer so these are the quiz yeah so you can do it yeah to test your general knowledge about North America so just guess it's it doesn't mind that um, you did it correctly or incorrectly but um, this is to to just you to yeah get to know your your understanding or your basic understanding of um, the lesson yeah North America okay and then um, you gonna um, do exercise B yeah Morgan is going to Canada he's talking to his Canadian friend Jenny listen and check your answer to the quiz so after you, you do the quiz in exercise A you can now listen and check whether um, what you guessed or what you what you did in in the uh, in exercise A is correct or not? So that you gonna learn yeah, some something about um, North America. Okay, so you can do this and you can listen uh, to the yeah the dialogue between Morgan and Jenny uh, by clicking on listen here so that you can listen and then check your answer. I'm going to move on to the next section, which is the grammar. Yeah, the two grammar points here, uh, question tag and present simple, oh, sorry, present perfect simple, uh, with already and yet. Um, first look at um, question tags, okay? So, um, exercise A, complete these sentences from the dialogue. Get the dialogue that you just listened in um, the previous section um, then listen to parts of uh, Morgan and Jenny's conversation again to check your answer so first of all um, you're gonna complete question tag here okay so these are the question tags yes yeah, just like the first example you are Canadian on you so and you here is call um, question tag so this is the um, in order to you know um, to get you into the the grammar point um, so this exercise will help you to um, or remind you yeah about um, question tag if you have learned it before so just try it and then check the answer yeah Okay, and let's move to the main um, parts of question text here. We're gonna learn the rules. Yeah, the rule of question text. So remember that um, with a positive statement, 
we usually use negative question tag. Just like um, you are Canadian is a positive statement and then question tag and you, yeah, and you are, and you is, sorry, and is the, the negative, um, the negative of are, yeah, of are. So, and you, yeah. And with negative statement, we usually use a positive question tag. Okay, so let's have a look at the, the example. It isn't Vancouver, is it? Okay, so when you see um, the statement um, that begin the sentence is the negative one, and then you gonna put question tag with positive. Okay, so the 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 opposite or of isn't is so isn't is negative and then positive is. Okay, so here is the um question tag. Okay, another one be with be modal verbs such as um, can, must, should, will. And other modal verb, okay, and have got and the present perfect. We repeat the auxiliary verb in the tag question. Sorry, in the tag, okay. So, example you have been there, haven't you? So, you have been there um, is the positive statement, and it is in present perfect, which the modal auxiliary verb is have okay so then we gonna repeat it in the question tag yeah in the tag here have it become heaven yeah because it negative the positive statement and then negative question tag so have we do not repeat bin because bin is the um but uh participle form of the verb so we only um repeat the auxiliary verb Okay, haven't and you, yeah. So if if the the subjects, okay, for example, the subject here, uh, he or she, and then has been or he or she's been, yeah, apostrophes has been there, and then here we're gonna use hasn't he or she, yeah. Okay, so don't get confused with um um the the sh short form of um, has with um, the short form of is okay so don't get confused with this one um, okay so let's uh, look at another rule with all other verbs we use does do does for present simple and or did didn't for past simple okay the example people speak french in canada too don't they okay so here you can see uh, the positive um statement and then negative question tag and because the verb here um speak is the simple verb and then we gonna use um simple verb speak and it is in present simple then we're gonna use uh, done because the subject is people and then here we're gonna replace with pronoun subject pronoun they okay so in question tag we're gonna write like this okay but if it is if it is uh past simple so you're gonna change this one to spoke and this one to didn't okay okay but if it is um, here it is a negative and then you're gonna change this one to positive okay so it's opposite like that okay positive statement negative question tag negative statement positive question tags okay and so after you learn this rule and then let's practice this one by yourself so complete yeah write the question text so the example number one has been done for you um, he saw us it's a positive statement and then uh, we're gonna put um, this the subjects here yeah subjects here and then we're gonna look at the the 
um, question tag. Okay. Um, so because it is in past simple ten, and it is positive statement. So past simple we use did or didn't, and because this is positive, and then we're gonna use negative in question tags. Okay. So let's do the uh, the rest of this the the exercise and then you can check your answer by yourself okay or you can do it on this slide or if in case you, your phone has problem that you cannot see the check button here so you can click on this one yeah and then you can do this you can do it and then check the answer okay make sure that you learn the rule well before you um, practice okay I'm gonna move to the next uh, grammar point present perfect simple already and yet okay first of all look at the exercise um, look at the example sorry yeah look at the example number one a lot of people have already bought Wi-Fi for their homes and number two um, the city hasn't decided yet so you can notice that they already here it's between the um, the verb have and the verb bought. Okay, have here is the auxiliary verb, and bought here is participle form, past participle form of um, the verb buy. And for number two, you can notice that we use yet um, at the end of the sentence, and it is negative. So here's a look at the rule to learn more. Uh, we form the present perfect simple with the verb has or have and the past participle form of the main verb. Make sure that you only change the past participle form of the main verb. And you already know that uh, we use has with uh, uh, third person singular. Yeah, and we use have with I, V, U, they. Okay, the first person and the second person for half and then plus past participle form of the verb it's become a uh, present perfect simple okay look at uh, how to use already in a sentence so we use already in positive sentences and just yet in question and negative okay remember this we don't use already in question or we, we don't use already in negative already is used only in positive sentences use already between the verb sorry sorry between have and the past participle yeah between have or has and the past participle use yet at the end of the sentence or question so you can look at here yeah. it's positive form and then we use already between uh, half here and past participle and we use yet in negative and questions and this one is the example in negative sentence and we use it at the end of the sentence okay so after you learn the rule well you learn it clearly you are sure enough you you can now practice um the using um uh, present perfect simple and yet or already so you're gonna complete um, present perfect simple and and also uh, yet and already uh, you gonna uh, you know you make a sentence with these words yeah, given for example number one uh, we have the the sent the the words given here we have you see the new James Bond film and then you gonna make it into what because you can see this is the question okay question mark okay actually it's question mark at the end so then you gonna make it into uh, present perfect simple by putting have because you can see the subject you so we could use have and we can see the verb c c is the main verb so we change it to past participle form it's become seen and then we put the new film the new james bond film and because it is question we use yet at the end okay but it if it is um 
what then the the positive or negative you gonna use um what's um already or you use yet for um negatives yeah so let's do the rest uh, for example i give you another example this is you answer because a is a question then you answer yes and it is um you make it to yeah i have already yeah i have bought just uh, make the um put the words together and make it into present perfect simple first so present perfect simple yeah okay i have bought the dvd too okay and you can have a look at um, this is a positive statement so we know that already we use it between have and past participle so we're gonna use like this and the rest of the sentence you also do the same thing like this okay so let's practice um, more by yourself and check the answer if you are not sure look at the rule again okay or you can ask me for um, clarification or more explanation on uh, the task and then I will help you Let's move to the next um, grammar point. Uh, we use present perfect simple with just. Okay, have a look at um, the example. I've just read Ken's post. Okay, so you can see just um, is used between the verb have and past participle, just like ready, already. Yeah. Okay, um, I make the mistake here. Example without s. Yeah. So look at the rule now. We can use just with the present perfect simple to say that an action happened at a very short time ago. So the action that have just happened and then it, uh, yeah, very short time ago, just a few minutes ago or or yeah a few hours ago that you can see that it's a very short time you can now use just yeah in this sentence uh, put just between have and the past participle um, it is the same as um, how we use already in the sentence okay and just also use in uh, positive okay positive statement only positive sentence only okay here um up to that you can practice um the exercise here um use the word to make a correct sentence so use present perfect simple with just and already um here is the example the word yeah, given here she gets a letter and open so we gonna create it in two sentence like this and you also do the same thing from number two to number six she just got a letter and then comma but she hasn't opened it yet so here we use just okay just she just she's just okay apostrophe s here it's referred to has she has just got a letter okay uh, this is the this action referred to the action that happened a very short time ago but yeah because we want to say something opposite uh, with the negative statement here uh, but she hasn't opened it yet yeah because uh, we use yet here because it is the negative statement yes she has already opened sorry he she hasn't opened it yet okay so look at the sample here the example that is um, done for you um, and then try to practice the same thing like from number two to number uh, number six make sure that you have um, you put the subject or you put the pronouns you know here just uh, do more explanation 
it here open it yes like she hasn't opened it so it here refer to a letter yeah she has just got a letter but she hasn't opened it yet so remember if it is uh, the verb that has uh, that needs objects you're gonna put the objects okay So do the same thing for the rest of the exercise and if you're not sure just look at the rule yeah study the rule again and then try to check it by yourself after you finish okay um so i'm going to move to the next part it's reading it's culture in mind yeah culture in mind this is the um yeah the other parts of the lesson okay it's yeah it's a, a little bit dark here okay um read reading yeah a read the text quickly who thinks free wi-fi is a good idea and who thinks it isn't a good idea so you can read the text here yeah should vancouver yeah, should vancouver have free Wi-Fi internet so read the text read the opinion and then try the answer who thinks Wi-Fi free Wi-Fi is a good idea and who thinks it isn't a good idea okay so up to you do it don't forget to do it because when you read this one you're gonna learn the vocab you're gonna learn the new words yeah you're gonna learn some grammar point as well okay so you can click read more in order to read and try to answer the question okay so i'm going to move on yeah so another one you read the same exercise yeah the same text here here this is okay the last text that you can you just um read you just read and then um do this exercise yeah true answer two or four so don't forget to put your name and then complete this one I'm, I'm going to check whether you do it or not in google classroom yeah okay so don't forget to do this one okay read this text yeah this exercise you can see it in your book or you can read in uh, read the text through the uh, slide here okay and then let's say this statement true or false okay okay let's move on to um vocabulary parts yeah vocabulary section british english versus american english okay these are the words yeah the words that um but this word is not in the correct column yet yeah uh just like the example here yeah pants and trouser and with the exercise here yeah from the listening it said trouser is um spoken by britain yeah and and pants is used in in uh, north america but the meaning is the same it's referred to yeah in khmer we call khao jung wei yeah pants and trousers it's mean the same but just used in different parts of uh, english speaking country so we have pants trouser football soccer lift elevator i'm sorry this one elevator i made the incorrect spelling yeah elevator okay now one subway underground flat apartment um lorry truck cookies biscuit um garbage rubbish candy sweets sidewalk and pavement these words are not in the correct column it doesn't mean that the right hand side is spoken in in north american north america and and uh, the left hand side just in britain so you're gonna learn more by listening to Morgan and Jenny which words used in Britain and which words used in North America 
write the word in the correct column. So this is the listening. You can see listening here, listening here. So you can listen and yeah, try to follow up uh, the, the speaker or uh, follow up the what Morgan and Jenny speak. Yeah. And I want to I want to tell you that Jenny is from Canada, which um, we call North America, and Morgan is from Britain. So follow their conversation and then complete um, each words. Yeah, this word. Yeah, these words, all these words. Yeah, into this curriculum. Okay, and then you can check. Yeah, your answer. Don't forget to listen to this conversation at home and complete this exercise, this column. Okay, I'm gonna move on. Okay. Everyday English. Okay, everyday English. Okay. So these are the expressions that um uh, it is useful in everyday conversation okay but first of all let's learn how this expression means in Khmer okay or what do we say it in Khmer um, so you are supposed to it means that uh, yeah. you are supposed to uh, uh, you are not supposed to go out um, at night you are not supposed to you are not supposed to do this you are not supposed to do that okay okay supposed you are not supposed to in the middle of in the middle of uh, in the middle of the way home okay okay number three what do you reckon what do you reckon means um what do you think okay what do you think okay. um number four the kind of thing yeah okay okay the kind of thing. Okay, I like to uh, play football, um, play volleyball, the kind of thing. Okay, that we refer to the kind of thing here, refer to the kind of sports. Okay, or the kind of, of activities. Okay, have a look, number five, have a look. Have a look at yeah. Have a look at this. Some go like my money. Really money, mer. Okay. Have a look at um uh, our speaker. Okay. Ta the mer speaker. Have a look at the picture. Ta the mer uh uh rupee mer. Okay. No wonder. No wonder. When it's a batching all, batching all. Okay. Keep it like my. But um. It has different meaning. It's it's sometimes you need to put it into context to get it the, to get the right meaning for uh, for this uh, kind of expression. Okay. All right. So um, let's move to the next one. Okay. So complete um, this all the expression that we just learned. Yeah, in this exercise, the uh, number one has been done. Uh, have a look and then you have what five more expressions so complete in this um, in this call uh, in this box okay and then check the answer okay try to learn it yeah check in check the dictionary to understand more the meaning but what I have just told you uh, the meaning in Khmer it's 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 I think it's kind of um, enough for you but if you are not sure, you just check more yeah, in dictionary. Okay, the last part of the um, sentence, sorry, the last part of this unit, it's writing. Um, here we're going to look at the email yeah, from Larry to Chris. Okay, this is the email. Okay, yes. 
so I can read it uh, for you. Hi Chris, how are you? Thanks for your email. I read it yesterday. So here I am in California and I am in an internet cafe in San Francisco writing to you. We've had a great time so far. We've been to San Diego and Los Angeles and San Francisco is the last stop on our holiday. Woo. Sorry, um, they say vacation. Okay, um, it's a great place and the weather has been beautiful. We've already done lots of things. Yesterday we went to um, Alcatraz prison. Really interesting. We've been, we haven't been to the Golden Gate Bridge yet, but of course I've seen it from the city. Oh, but we've already traveled one on one of the streetcars, trams here. It is it was wicked. Well, it's time for dinner. We've already decided that we are going to eat Mexican tonight. I can't wait. Hope everything's okay with you. Rise again soon. Okay? Love, Laura. P.S. I've already bought your present. A an SF giant baseball cap hope you like it so this is the short email here that um, Laura write to um, Chris okay so you can read it by yourself again and then try to answer this question okay um, now look at B here and answer this question how Laura begin her email so Laura begin her email by say hi Chris. Okay, hi Chris. So uh, to begin the email, you can say the other word. Yeah, dear. Okay, dear Chris or hello Chris. Okay, it's up to the. Uh, it's depends on who you address. Okay, if you wanna say it in um uh, uh an informal way. You can use hi, yes, because you say it to your friend, you want it to be, you know, um, informal, you want it to be closed, so you use informal words. Number two, how does she finish the email? So she finished with the yeah, love and her name, okay, love and her name. So this we call ending words, ending word love, you can use what other words just like best regard, uh, with love, respect, yeah, uh, what, um, sincerely yours, that it depends on the, the, the types of, of, um, uh, of people or the types of, um, email that you are writing. You want to write formal, so you can use uh, the formal words for ending words. Okay, and number three, Laura thinks of something more to say after she writes her name. How does she begin? So be she begins with PS. PS here means postscript. Postscript. Okay, postscript. Um, so... When you um, finish your email, but you think that you, you have something else to say, you want to include, so you should use the word PS and then you can start your your sentence. Okay, PS, postscript, yeah, then for the full meaning. Okay, here I have a, the writing exercise for you, so you can write a similar email to, uh, yeah, Laura's email okay and imagine that you are on holiday in a city in Cambodia yeah choose one of the city in Cambodia and write similar email to your friend whoever and tell what you have done and what you haven't done just imagine that you are on the 
yeah, holiday, on the holiday trips, you to somewhere in Cambodia. Um, you go to, for example, you choose Siem Reap, um, yeah, Siem Reap, or you can choose, uh, Kampung Sam or Kampot, and then you can, um, write what you have done during the holiday and what you haven't done, what what have you seen and what you haven't seen okay and then just ask the same thing look at the the sample uh, email from laura so that you're gonna do it well okay and if you're not sure just check with me again okay and that's it for unit four and this is the quiz the progress check yep progress check Check your progress. Yeah, this one, uh, this is a short quiz. It covers unit three and unit four. It's covered uh, the learning objective, which include um, um, grammar and vocabulary in each unit. So you can start doing this by clicking start, or you can go to see in, in uh, Google Classroom, which I already assigned you. Okay, so let's do it and let's learn more by yourself at home practice by yourself at home i also put i also assigned the homework for you to practice and then you you can submit it in google classroom okay so yeah thank you for listening thank you for joining um and have a nice day